find the exact value of cosine alpha divided by 2 given that sine alpha equals 1 third and pi over 2 is less than alpha is less than pi. So now how is that going to help me out? Well, I need to find the value of cosine of alpha based on my half angle formula. So in order to do that, the only relation that I can think of is that the sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha equals 1. So that means I need to get cosine of alpha by itself ultimately. So my first thing I could do 1 minus sine squared alpha. Eh, so far so good. Now I already know what sine is, right? It's 1 minus 1 third squared, which is going to reduce down to 8 ninths. So then the cosine of alpha is going to be the square root of that. So it's going to be the square root of 8 over 9. Now, is it cosine going to be positive or negative? Well, since it's in quadrant 2, it's going to be negative. So this will simplify to negative 2 square root of 2 over 3. So I found cosine of alpha. So now I can use my half angle formula, which says that the cosine of alpha over 2 equals the square root of 1 plus cosine alpha divided by 2. So now we've found the value of cosine of alpha, correct? So this simplifies again to 1 minus 2 square root of 2 over 3, the whole thing over 2. So I'm going to come up here in the next column and simplify again, and that's going to give me the square root of, now I need to find a common denominator on the top, so that's going to be 3 minus 2 square root of 2 over 3, and the whole thing is over 2. So that's going to simplify again to 3 minus 2 square root of 2 over 6. Now what am I going to do? Well, I can write those with a radical on the top and the bottom. So I've got 3 minus 2 square root of 2 over the square root of 6. But I can't have a radical on the bottom, right? So I'm going to need to rationalize the top, or actually, sorry, rationalize the bottom by multiplying by the square root of 6 over the square root of 6. And when I do that, I get the square root of 6 times the square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2, that's a hot mess, divided by 6. So this is your exact value. So again, you're not going to enter on the calculator. You're going to leave it hanging out with all those radicals.